everyone, welcome to Ed Trial Plays Between the Stars. Early access, baby. Uh, I mean, it's out right now on Steam at May 28, 2019 is when it came out, but it's in the early access mode. I could have been playing it before that, but I wanted to be like more released, which I mean, I, I don't really know why. I had the demo because uh, I funded it on Kickstarter. Boom, Kickstarter for 20 bucks. The game's 20 bucks right now, but I did it earlier, so I'm a more dedicated player. It is a recommend way to play your first game when your player dies, they will continue the game. And the last point, I mean that's how it works. When the player dies, the player will reappear at the last save point. The player will lose all of his non-equipped weapon or weapon not in stash. And one of the crew members dies permanently. Ooh, this is permadeath mode. That sounds real. That sounds interesting. So uh, from between the stars is a like non-linear, event-driven little RPG game where like you move around with your crew, you're, you're the captain of a crew, you move around, you grab members that are unique and randomized, you go around different galaxies, deal with events, battles, etc, etc. I haven't actually played it, this is my first going to jump in through, and since it says recommended for new players, even though definitely going to do that, because when I saw the descriptors of this game, it reminded me of a, like a more modern version, or not modern version, a more modern looking FTL. Faster Than Light, which is a, an amazing game if you haven't played it yourself. How many Equinons do you need to change a warp? Okay, I thought that was a joke, but it's not. These are just tips. Exploring a bandage hit will provide you better loot, or, or loot the further you advance, but it also means a lot more risk for your crew members. That makes sense. You gotta roll the dice, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Loading screens. Weapons equipped on your ship can provide special abilities. A good weapon selection will allow you to have the needed resources to undertake any situation that may come up. Ooh, sketch. Alert. Two arms. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Oh, yeah, we got camera control. Crew, boost warp drive to full power. Is that me? Am I Captain Jane Scott? I said full power. That's an order. I mean, we have the same hair. Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three. Hold on to your seatbelts, buckaroos. Just a bit more. Warp successful. Oh yes, yeah, sister, we made it. We've made it. Uh, Jinx Wanda Diaz. Hello? So we have complete control. Hi. Damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. We're holding space. Uh, uh, move mouse wheel. Throttle, move to go in reverse. Where's my indicator of that? Oh, in the bottom right, there we are. Little red bars reverse. Green, all right, yeah. Max green, please. Oh, never mind. Max red. Half red, Moderate half damage. mast. Engines operational. All right. Testing navigation systems. WSD, easy, like the day I was born. Rotate, we got rotationals. You gotta do your rotates and you got your A and D. A and D graphics card. Navigation systems operation. AMD, you idiot. Testing right. power systems. I need to stop that though. Right. Yeah, uh, up arrow to assign auto energy weapons. Where's my indicator? That left. Oh, it's also in the bottom right. Left. All to fucking engines. And right. We need more power to the shields. Correct. Detecting warp signatures in Where? The oh. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. Press X to change the camera to 360 normal view. Alright, this is 360. That's my bad. Prefer normal view. Alright. Destroy the enemy ships. Say no more. Put us in the thrust mode. But we're gonna need more more to damage, baby. Left clicks how we shoot. Alright. Right click how we zoom in. Alright. <laughs> space here. Space how we move forward. Heck yeah. Alright, we're in laser range, boys. Three dimensional movement's not our forte. But we're Matt Forte and we're gonna win. What's, what's number two do? Pressing two. No, oh, that's pressing one. What a waste of time. Uh, we're taking some massive damage, boys. We need to move. Uh more damage to shields! Full thrust! Move forward, boys! Hello? Are we getting just whacked on? Alright. 
360, we need the 360s. No scope, these boys. Where are my guns at? Um, boys. Oh, engines. Duh. Make some distance. We've lost the shield. We've lost the shields. I know that. I mean, I didn't know that, but god damn it. It's not going slowly. Is this too far? Have I <laughs> lost shields? Or were they losing shields? All right. If I press two, it looks like we have a nuke or something ready to go. Slow her down. Old pirate style. What is? What is? What does two do? <laughs> oh, that's what two does. Her. We understand what two does. <laughs> Well, not fully, but we got a way better grasp of it, I tell you that much. Brother, let me reload my... Brother, let me get my gun back on him. I promise, I won't fail you this time. You got a hundred smackaroos? Well, let's just hit him a hundred times. Drop his shields. It wasn't our shields going down, boys. We know better now. Press one. Put on the frontal cannons and let him know a full uh, bullet barrage. All right, right out of that. Pull out the rock. Pull out the missile. Nuke this boy in the kingdom come. Where's my nuke? Nuke him. Nuke him. Oh, there it is. I see it. End his whole career. You can't shoot it down. It's sent for you. Send them. Send them straight to the after realm, buddy. Buddy. But brothers. Or what is this? Optional direct nuclear missiles to take out enemy ships. <laughs> Give me something that I don't know like the back of my hand, you fools. Ramming speed! Put more power to the shields if we're gonna be in the fucking ramming speed, right? 360 control of our guns. Uh, get a fucking broadside barrage so we can, and with every little bit we got. Hey, you. Tell your mother eggs we're delicious. Fire the rocket. It's not working. Fire the rocket. Tell her. Rocket them! Rocket them like, hey there, Buster. Get that fuck out of my ship. Let's, move. Let's make some movement. Get them like lit up. One of our shields has fallen. It's not true. You gonna lie to your captain? Don't ever lie to your captain. Press one. We're gonna do a full barrage on this boy. Make him wish he was never born. Nothing personnel, kid. You're dusted. Oh, somebody playing Dota. That's weird. He works for Riot. Let's go. Get rid of that. We're overheated. It's fine. Give me cool down. Cool down, boys. Put on full shields while we wait. It's all right. We can take a few hits even though our shields are down. I right, switch it up. Rocket these boys. Rocket them. There it is. Nothing personnel, kid. You gotta watch it. Rocket, no hit him. Oh man, I think they're clustered up and they were able to cover each other with their lasers. I have no real way of telling this folks in suit. No, there it is. There I found it. Okay, so I just get even all around. Side head. Get better control of our ship unless it's really this guy. Gun him down in front of us. We have lost the shield. Hey, how do you miss when they're point blank? Get a goddamn recruiter of the Republic. Alright, get our next rocket in. And it rocket this guy. Alright, that guy's dead. Don't even look at him anymore. He's already dead. 360 camera. Don't look at the explosion, we're really cool. Don't look at the explosion, we're cool. Shit, we turn near the explosion. Oh god, the explosion! We should have looked, we almost drove into it. Oh god, this is actually kind of bad. More power to shields, please, boys. Uh, gun, stop overheating. 
Are we gonna lose the Zoro mission? Possibly. Keep shooting like this. I need mean, more power to guns, actually. That's what. That's engines. What are we doing? Less, less speed. Aye, aye, Captain. We're gunning these boys down. I am the gunman. I am the monkey powder guy for my own crew. Oh, brother. I gotta miss a point blank for you. Oh, my, oh, whoa. Objectives neutralized. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Captain, I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64. Well, best. But out. I must inform you that the enemy bypass our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Oh. System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. All right. Tragic. My, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamasic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, prepare once I get done looting. Game's not telling me to loot. You can't trick me, game, for the second I realize I can loot. I'm not leaving. You know what? Every one of these bodies has been looted. Easy. Is that all of them? It's probably all of them. Uh, what do those buttons do? I press die. Oh. Gatlin of Republic. Nuclear missile launcher. And I worry, bulletproof vest, please. I think that's personnel. I think personnel kids. All right, we don't know any of this stuff. Let's just, I guess, go. Yeah. We're doing the tutorial. Let's do this. Wait, we're going to this place? Yep, click the tacit Stella. Warp drive engines damaged. Oh, yeah. Jump oh, impossible. Good. What do you mean impossible? Ugh. My. Which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the trade station and terrace port. Okay. The port. Set in the coordinates. Coordinates, brother. Coordinates set. You did it? I don't have to. You did it for me? Right, cool. My situation report on Antaros port. Accessing database. We know it's behind us, isn't this it? This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. Well, it has a yeah. large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining sector. Uh, I love freight traders. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the Beet universe. soup, brother! Let's go! More power to the speed, more power to engines. Do I press anything to stop or thank god? Dock 19, don't mind if Captain I do. Captain Scott from the 5th Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Okay. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving coordinates. Are we highlighted as operational dock? 19? Docking protocol prepared. We go to dock 19, right? Yeah, oh, it says in the quest. I, I can read. I was tunnel vision on the top box, not the second one. Enter the highlighted area at low speed. Sorry, let me come correct. That's scary. Access points, space station. Commercial zone, docks. I want to go to the Pulsar area. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the docks. Yikes, brother. I read quest. Just hear a great commotion around the freighters on the station. When you get the ship, you hear shouts from all angles. The merchants and... Oh, from all angels? Angles? And merchants bidding ever increasing numbers of our merchandise. I can read your crew and you leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. You find yourself looking at the neon lights when someone bumps onto your shoulder. Who the F? 
unknown woman. Ouch, that hurt. It's a scruffy young woman who begins to collect. She stole from us. Who begins to collect spanner and metallic objects of all sorts she has had. Oh, R6. Of, uh, objects of all sorts she has had on her, and she tries to steady herself. How are we gonna play ourselves out, boys? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. That's beta. That's how I act in real life. Don't worry, are you hurt? Uh. You should be more careful. You're speaking with the captain of the goddamn republic. Oh, my apologies, Captain Susan White, chief mechanic of the Pulsar ship repair. Here, what can I do for you? Actually, we were just looking for a repair shop for our ship. You walk to the other the docking bay where your ship is located. Susan rubs her eyes incredulously. No way, a KP. 564SC warship is completely total. How did you manage to Susan size deeply? Alright, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. The repair costs highly exceed your credit account. Rude. After negotiating, you agree to handle a series of tasks prepared in return for payment. In the meantime, they should give you a completely operational ship. Where do we find these communications? Of course, Captain, the transmission bay is the next district over. I can show you the way. Our space stations often have a transmission system highly superior to that of normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. You walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay, where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you are allowed to pass and spot the transmission crew, busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You are granted a terminal in order to send a situation report to the Republic. Jane Scott! Captain Scott here! We're... Wait, is that me? <laughs> I think so. We're transmitting from the Anteros port uh, station in Sector Thama 6. Admiral Xiao, that's Asian. Captain Scott, we were expecting you to arrive your arrival two days ago. Are you explaining the situation? Oh, I read it out loud. <clears throat> Jane Scott. Yes, sir. We ran into problems. We are following the trail of a silver network in the Lithoba 1 sector. We infiltrated the base and we secured vital intelligence that you asked us for, but our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought we had left them behind when we arrived at the sector, but we were intercepted. We finally managed to finish up the enemy ships, but two of my crew members have lost their lives, and the Genesis was practically destroyed. Admiral Hyao, I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. You're damn right. We'll give them the sending off they deserve. What is the current status of the Genesis? Uh, bad. Jane Scott, currently it is inoperative. Bad. As soon as it's re uh, repaired, we'll return to the headquarters for, uh, for the Stellar Summit. Admiral Xiao, as one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested at the head escort and reception of our guests. Every governing body, every governing body of the universe shall be present and will set aside their differences in favor of a new era of peace and prosperity. Don't worry, Admiral. We'll arrive before the visit starts. Easy. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm allowed to go here now? Thank you. What are we doing? Uh, accept the contract? Oh, can we afford that? Where's our money? What are these? Oh, those aren't real buttons. Prison? Oh, we can get prisoners. No, repair, stash, systems, what is this? This is not our first ship. Yeah, it doesn't do. Never mind, it's fine. Alright, can't do anything. Crew members. We're looking around, seeing what we can do. Where do we accept the. It's the highlighted one, you dummy. Is this our credits? I want to know how much money we have so I can just. not use it properly. Alright, we're just gonna do this. Accept the contract. In order, right, the Antros Freighter, in order to repair the ship, we need ion reactor. This wouldn't usually be a problem. We had not need the materials, but this isn't the case. We haven't had any news from a space freighter repair ship in two Earth days. I got it. Two Earth days. Crews isn't answering any. We need you to find them. Alright, let's do this. Probably gonna do this, and then we're gonna wrap up the video after we do one of these quests, however long it takes, because the video is hitting that 20 minute mark. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Or er, abandoned station. Oh, we got a sleek little thing now. 
We got all sorts of buttons. We got an anti cloak. Everyone to their posts. We must find that missing freighter. Okay, agreed. Captain, do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct is, violation is of we'll Space speed. Law 412. Section 2 slash 08. This is cool. The music, the feel, this is very cool. And if it, the, like, the beginning's kind of on the rails, it feels like, but after this, if we're allowed to just free roam and, like, take our missions how we feel, that'll, that, that'll be definitely cool. Because the scripters give it a really FTL vibe. And I know we're doing the tutorial, so we should be on the rails, but hopefully it won't always be like that. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. We're here, boys. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. Huh? There doesn't appear to be anything here. Oh, there it is. Mai, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings uh -oh. coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. All power, baby. Press space, we can go fast. It's not as fast as warp drive. Warp drive! Wait, that, we should go to the Allied Station, right? We should go to the quest marker. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My, prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. Scan. Hey, we keep the right. Doing it right. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. Mai, can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Where are these kids? Oh, so long, sucker. Yeah, Captain John Jane Scott, the great Scott, on her way to end your whole career. These kids are about to get dusted. Spiraling in. Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? No. Affirmative. Fuck. Ex Cleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. Pirate Fleet? I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis. Genesis, motherfucker. Republic. Of the Interstellar you hold Republic. Your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of junk? Oh, don't even get me started, brother. <laughs> you asked for it. Crew to arms. Oh, we're about to end this man's career. Nuke him. Nuke their whole family. No! Looking like it. Holy damage, Captain. We cannot take this type of hits, brother. Should we 
missed with our nuke, and we died immediately. That was a lot harder than I thought. Captain. That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Please help us make the experience better by reporting bugs. There's no bugs I know of except for the fact that Irish Girl is now playing Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. We're back. Warp drive engines damaged. Jump impossible. No, brother. Ugh. My. This is the last save point. That's upsetting. Well, it's fine. We'll do better it's this time for sure. And we're gonna skim past all that shit. But this seems like a good point to end the video. Watching you fail, I won the first combat. Obviously, we didn't fail the story. We just failed the immediate mission right afterwards. If you guys like the game Between the Stars, made by Isolated Games, only game that I've seen that they made. I checked the Twitter, I checked Kickstarter, I checked all that nonsense. Indie Studio with a, a fun game that is really fun. Isn't it? The soundtrack really hits the right notes. The voice acting's eh, except for Jane Scott. She's my girl, obviously, because that's me. And, uh,. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Let me know your thoughts. I really appreciate it. If you do, uh, this is a fun game. If you want to see me do like a mini series on this, I'd be down to do it. But uh, maybe not get my ass kicked so bad by the pirate freight. Like, yeah, I was in a small dinghy of a ship. I should have been like not as close up. I had a stealth mode, I'm pretty sure. Regardless, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Hit the bell, subscribe if you haven't. Share it to your friends, all that nonsense. I love you guys. Catch you next time. Peace out.